All right. So this is it, final day of uh, our Random Act of Kindness week. And I am, uh, I, I, it's, it's funny, uh, Steve and I were talking about it earlier, how, uh, you know, the week started off, you know, it's like, you know, it's a brand new thing for us, something we've never done. And it was just like slow moving momentum. And as the week went, it feels like it really picked up steam, ton of momentum. Uh, a lot of uh, feedback, you know, that we have both received. We've seen it all over social media. We've seen it all over uh, within the organization. People are talking about it. I'm hearing it from, you know, other people who, you know, are not part of Guaranteed Rate telling me that they're seeing people at Guaranteed Rate getting out there and spreading kindness and, and talking about it. So uh, it's exciting. You know, it's great. Uh, and. You know, this is uh, this is something that I, I think we're going to want to do every year, right? This is going to be an annual thing. So this is our first year doing our annual random act of kindness. So uh, so it's been fun. So it's great. It's right in line with our values and who we are as a company, right? And our culture, right? So it's I think it's it's something that has come naturally to a lot of people, and and you can see that from you know the the adoption and how people just get on board and love participating. It's been yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and I can tell you this, that there's a lot of this that is not, does not feel comfortable, right? Because I could, you know, buying a bunch of flowers for me and then taking them and ringing a doorbell and going into a random seniors facility to drop off flowers was, you know, a little uncomfortable, right? Uh, and then you'll see, um, we bought pizzas yesterday for the University of Chicago um, Hospital, uh, a certain ward, and we bought 30 uh, pizzas, and went in there and, and delivered the pizzas. And you know, I, you know, it's funny because once you start doing it and you get in there, you feel a little uncomfortable. But then the nurses were like, they said, you know, the one thing that they said, which was great, they said it's just nice to be appreciated. Right, and that's what, uh, what I thought was really cool. That comment over and over again, and they had big smiles on their face. The guy who runs the ward, who uh, is the manager of the whole ward, came over and told me, he said, there's a lot of happy people in our, you know, in our hospital right now, and for that I thank you. And you know, he, and he was one of those guys who's very stoic, yeah. and he said it in a very stoic way. <laughs> so I was like, it, it felt even more meaningful, you know, because <laughs> it wasn't like something that the guy was, uh, it wasn't something that you would be making up. So it's nice to be able to do something that made a difference, and the ripple effect that this is creating, and all of you who have gotten on board and doing whatever it is, right? Uh, I mean, I'm hearing all sorts of stories. Uh, there's a ripple effect that's making a difference in people's lives this week. And we wanna thank you for uh, getting involved and in, in participating. So you did uh, the pizzas at the hospital. Let's check out what that looked like. All right, so random act of kindness, day four. And uh, we're doing uh, 30 pizzas for uh, healthcare workers at the University of, University of Chicago. Uh, my son is actually here, and the people are so awesome and so kind. I was just shocked how amazing everybody is. So uh, they definitely are uh, doing God's work, and more than happy to uh, to make sure we give them some pizzas. So, uh, all right, thanks everyone. That that's awesome. You can see even with the masks, you can see the the smiles. Uh, on the on the, on the faces of, the, of those workers, the nurses and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and and if anybody knows, my son is is doing okay. Uh, he uh, diagnosed with Crohn's disease, so uh, it's a good thing. You know, we're thrilled <laughs> that there's uh, uh, that he's he's on the road to recovery. So all good, all good there. So I appreciate anyone's thoughts uh, uh, around that. So, uh, but the other cool thing is we have our ambassadors. <clears throat> Um, and how they're getting involved and spreading the love as well. And we have uh, uh, Nate McKinnon, uh, who is just killing it in hockey. Uh, he's in the playoffs and is lighting up, uh, uh, lighting up goals. And, and, and probably, you know, he's, he's uh, I don't even think arguably, I think he's the best player in the NHL. And for him to be not only our ambassador, but just a good guy is, is awesome. And he's been working with us here. 
Yeah, Nate's, so, Nate's one of our newer ambassadors, and they're up 2-0 in the playoffs. Uh, he had two goals Monday night, another three goals hat trick on Wednesday night. So he's he's on fire, uh, but he's he's also not too busy to jump in on the axe and uh, help us out with the guaranteed kindness week. Jack, it's Nate here. Um, just checking in again, man. Um, you know, you beating cancer is unbelievable. Uh, just wanted to, to say it again, I guess. And um, you believing that uh, that you can overcome something like that, I think, gives everyone else motivation and inspiration uh, to uh, overcome all of our little problems in our lives that we face every day. So, uh, once again, Jack, uh, really excited for you. Hope to see you soon. Um, and I hope you're doing great, man. Who was that? Just an old friend? Was he talking to you? What did he tell you? He said he was proud of you. You okay? Yeah. Was that exciting? everyone getting involved, right? Uh, the other cool thing is we have a bunch of our uh, sports teams uh, and uh, U.S. figure skating, uh, motocross, bass fishing, uh, you name it. I mean, it's been getting involved and they have taken it upon themselves to join uh, the Random Act of Kindness Week. Uh, the Mo Milwaukee Brewers actually took a big banner and they put it outside the stadium as far as uh, in spreading the love and 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 providing you know you know the a, awareness around what we're doing here yeah we made all these partners aware of what we were doing none of them had to do anything but they took it upon themselves to participate which is really super cool to see um so you know really appreciative of that so we have a uh, few slides around this uh, yeah, here's just a few examples of how the partners have got on board from a social perspective, um, tapping into their networks, demonstrating some of the things that they're doing for Random Acts of Kindness Week, and of course recognizing it with the hashtag. So this is, this is what we mean in terms of building up speed and catching up momentum as the week goes on. You know, more and more people see what's going on and, and want to jump on board and, and be a part of the movement, which is super cool. So here's, uh, here's the numbers. Uh, we've reached over 45 million people, 28 million through television, 14 million through social, uh, 4 million through billboards, and 700,000 through postcards. So uh, again, and what this doesn't show is uh, the human side, right? In what you're doing uh, to f make a difference and feel that, right? I mean, so this is just kind of messaging the 45 million, but uh, what this doesn't show is the tens of thousands of people that were affected uh, this week. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, Guaranteed Rate has over 15,000 employees uh, amongst uh, all the uh, companies uh, within Guaranteed Rate. And when you think about the 15,000 people and the kind of difference that they're making, it's been tremendous. And again, we just have a few here. Um, you know, I'm getting text messages and emails all the time. So um, I got this uh, email, I think it was this morning or last night, uh, and it was a little boy who has uh, severe autism. And his mom said that his bicycle was stolen and he was just devastated. And uh, the guys um, decided, you know, uh, to you know, buy him a bike. And not only did they buy him the bike, they bought him the bike with the color that he loves. It's his favorite <laughs> color. Uh, so again, you know, it's not only did he make, you know, Cooper's day, you know, I mean, that you, you for sure made his week or month, right? Or year, right? Yep. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that you're all doing every day right now. And it's exciting uh, as far as w what's been going on. Yeah. 
That's been cool. A lot of outreach, you know, from our sales leaders, James and Julia and Zoya and the culture team. And, um, you know, there's a bunch of just folks that have reached out and got involved, which is super, super cool. Um, there's uh, a compilation video just to show some more of those examples along with a few more from our ambassadors as well. Yeah. So you want to play the video? So it's guaranteed rate kindness week. So Eric and I are helping our favorite mailman, Barat. Wave to everybody, Barat. Thank you. Helping him load the truck. Anything we can do to be kind today. What's up, everyone? Sam Sharp here out at the uh, Stuff the Truck event, having a great success. Um, as you can see here, truck filled. Everyone's smiling and happy and having a good time. And people have been so generous. It's been amazing. Let's go. We're dropping off some pizza at the Knight Ministry in the Noble Square community. It's an open shelter program, one of my favorite, favorite programs. in the National Bolina Stadium that is located in the middle of downtown Reno. Every time I walk here, I see a lot of people in need in the streets. Today is a perfect day to do a random act of kindness and offer 10 of them a warm lunch. We're dropping off some bagels for the crew. Let's want to say thank you for your service and thank you guys for what you all do. sitting here in Columbus just unwinding and getting ready for my off season. Uh, there are some people in our organization that make everything easier for us uh, and any season wouldn't be possible without these guys and that's the trainers. So today I wanted to give back. I wanted to send some pizza from a local shop to one of the guys' families and surprise them with that for lunch today. Thank you for everything, Mike. Enjoy the pizza. Surprise the guys at Stay with a little bit of guaranteed kindness. Surprise the guys at Stay. All right, so I just want to thank you. Like, look at this. This is incredible. Uh, the videos are amazing. Everyone's participation is amazing. So I just want to just say thank you guys so much. Amazing, amazing, amazing job. Uh, and you could see the momentum like increasing, like in people's excitement. And like, you know, when I'm getting email after email after email just saying, we're on to something here. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this alive. Um, so we're going to continue this, uh, you know, between you know now until next year, and then we're going to make it another week of uh, Random Act of Kindness Week next week. Uh, we have trains going by. That's why, that's why I love the city. Uh, but this is great. So we're going to wrap up. Uh, you know, again, if you have other random act of kindness, keep posting it to uh, our social, so, social feeds. Uh, photos, videos, just keep it rolling. So there's a bunch of stuff, um, you know, as Steve and I were talking about, that I'm going to continue to do for the foreseeable future. Yeah. And I'll be, you know, doing different things. It, it won't be every day now, but it will be periodically, and I'll be sending it out, you know. Yeah, our advertising and promoting of it will, will come to an end this weekend, but that yeah. doesn't mean the, the acts need to come to an end, right? This can be something you can kind of continue to do and uh, just make it a part of your, your life. Everyday right? life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, spread the love. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope uh, this is Friday, so I hope you had a great week, and, and I hope you go into the weekend feeling really good about everything and, and uh, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.